Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back to another Logging from Scratch episode, and this is the special episode I was promising. What's behind me? What do you think it is? We're going to turn around and reveal it. It is the boom! It's the new Tiger Cat 880 log loader. Um, it has been an absolute nightmare putting this together, but it's, uh, it's pretty well almost ready. It's almost done. Uh, we're just kind of doing some final work on it and uh, it should be good to go. But I figured what better way to test this than to bring it in. I've done lots of testing already, but I wanted to do some further testing on actual actual log work. So I figured what better way than to bring it right into our series to clean up all those beautiful logs that we just dropped down. So I was like, hey, this is the perfect opportunity. So yeah, uh, this guy's got lots of new features. I'm not going to go over everything. I'll kind of talk about them randomly as we go. Um, it's definitely a beta version right now. Uh, so bringing it in here, expect to see weird things happen. Errors, issues, glitches, things not closing or working properly. Maybe. Maybe it'll be good. So um, lots of new sound effects and good stuff like that. Uh, one thing I really like is it's got grapple. So I don't know if you can hear this. I'm going to shut up for a second. But as you open the grapple, you should be able to hear it. Yeah, I love that. In the cab, you can actually hear better. Oh, I love that. I love that I was able to implement that feature. So yeah, it's got your regular uh, heavy-duty sound effects for the tires, or tires, the tracks. So I was going to low-bed this. It is totally low-beddable. You can uh, low-bed this sucker out to wherever you want. But um, since our one yard full of logs is so close, I think I'm just going to wander over there. I'm just going to put it on auto crawl, <coughs> and we can just head right over there. So today's going to be a little bit of beta testing. We're going to see exactly how well it goes. Um, but man, I'm really impressed with this. This is a, an arm and a legs jump over our machine from 2017. Um, we're able to get the tracks working. We weren't able to use the old school um, tracks that we used to have, which were the uh, 3D ones just simply because it's not supported anymore. You can't really do stuff like that. So uh, with this new set, they're just scroller tracks similar to in-game, but we kind of built our own um, using the in-game stuff and mixing our own uh, things together. Uh, Josh has done an incredible job working on this model. We've been shooting stuff back and forth for the past month and a half, uh, trying to get it just right, get all the uh, details as close as we can. Um, yeah, no, I've, I'm blown away by how well it's turned out. And... Uh, like I said, the cabs are pretty hum-ho. There's not really a lot of specialty yet. We're planning to update some more stuff in the future, but we just wanted to get something workable. He did a really good job on the uh, the seat and stuff. He rebuilt that right from the ground up. We got some joysticks and stuff now. Everything's pretty static, but uh, as far as functionality, it's probably one of the better-looking um, loaders we've ever made, so definitely something nice. Um, there's no guy in the cab. That was one thing I have a little bit of proportional issues getting solved. Might try that for the future, but for now it's... It is what it is, so... Here, let me just not walk down the highway. Let me crawl over here and get on, off the road. Go crush some of this nice grass here. Yeah. But yeah, no. Uh, it's finally uh, finally getting done. Like I said, it's not 100% it's not uh, finished yet. We still have lots of stuff that we need to do to make it correcto el mundo. But uh, I imagine, God, sometime within the next couple weeks, within a week or two weeks, it should be all uh, all ready to go. My uh, entire FDR logging team is mass beta testing it right now to try to uh, find any kind of discrepancies or issues. And uh, yeah, we just found really minimal stuff. There's no errors, no glitches, no uh, no terrible stuff. So I'm actually really excited to start using it. I'm just excited to have a grapple that can pick up freaking logs, man. Like, that's been a kind of our downfall for the past while. So, we're just going to test it out and see how much abuse we can cause here. That's my plan. Park this guy here. We have this nice truck sitting right here. And I tested it out on Grizzly Mountain. I hauled it all the way using an in-game truck. I used the orange one, whatever the second down from the highest powered truck is not this one i don't know if this one can haul that or not but the other one definitely could and i was able to bring it all the way to the top of grizzly mountain not easily <laughs> not it wasn't super easy to do but i was able to get it up there so um at least we know in-game equipment can haul it so that was going to be the important part 
All right, so this is it. This is our first uh, our first beginning of the series for loading stuff. One thing that's really cool, sorry, I just have to do this before we start loading, is these, uh, I made these individual tusks actually uh, physics-wise, so um, you can actually get stuff between and stuck between, kind of, which is, looks really funny. But you can pinch it off if it's too... But yeah, you can totally just scissor it in there and just go... I don't know if I can do it here. Clunk. Oh, you have to find a, a pointy spot. Yeah, and this gets stuck in there, which is kind of cool. Very realistic. That's how we're going to load from now on. Just one stick at a time, just like this. Oops, and totally missed the truck. Man, haven't loaded in a while. Let's get that a little closer to us. That's why I'm confused here. Why are we stretching all that distance? We have tires. We can get him over here. And that's it, guys. The first loading of the game, and I missed the truck. Amazing, right? I just want it close-ish. Oops, that's a little close. I want this thing back up. Back up, you piece of crap. Sure, whatever. I can always move ahead. Uh, the lights are currently very orange up there. <laughs> I haven't set the color note on them yet, so if anybody goes, why are the lights orange? Mm, they just are. So yeah, no, it's uh, it's uh, so far so effective. We have a whole bunch of different grapples that we're working on as well to attach. So I'll show you one thing. All of our grapples are now attachable and detachable, just as like uh, an attacher joint. You can just drop it on the ground, and then you'd have the ability to hook onto another one of any kind of grapple type you want. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Oops, man, I am so not so great at picking things up right now. I haven't used my joysticks in like three days, and I'm just like, oh. Let's see if we can straighten this out a little bit. You need a truck that's a little bit heavier. That's the next project. We need to actually build a truck. That's got to happen. Truck and some bunks. Some logging bunks that don't suck. That would be good. But, I mean, in the time it takes me to probably load one of these trailers, it would take me to load 5% of a trailer with the uh, buffalo. So, Yeah, it's just nice. It's just good. I miss my two stake trailer though. I hate these ones with all these stakes on them. You have to be like so intricate and gentle and try not to bop around the stakes because these trucks weigh about the same as a bag of feathers. So, But as you can see, I'm just going to scoop this one back a little bit. There we go. See, this is how, this is how it's supposed to be. This is how logging is supposed to be. Not that noodly stuff. No more noodles, boys. No more noodles. And like I said, as we build more grapples and different stuff, you'll see uh, all kinds of funky solutions for problems start coming out. I just love that sound, that sound effect for having the, uh, the claw. <laughs> I always wanted that since 2015. Actually, since the first time I ever got into a real like loader, a button top. Listening to those claws close sounded just like that, identical. So me being the audio engineer that I am, I went and tried to duplicate that sound almost identical, and I think I've got it pretty much right on. There we go. Oh. Sure, why not? Look at that, we're already cleaning up our pile here. We're kind of stretching a bit, but that's okay. So yeah, like I said, the... Uh, <clears throat> um, Josh has put in an incredible amount of work making this thing as realistic and awesome as it is and uh, the details on the model are far beyond what I would ever be able to accomplish as a modeler because I'm not a modeler <laughs> I would never have been able to get it as detailed as he has so kudos to him for uh, being able to do such great work he is an invaluable member of the team So yeah, we have a whole bunch, obviously, now that we have one loader down, the hard stuff is over because the reason this one took so darn long was just, ah, there was so much learning from all, for all of us. Like even for me, like I spent hours smashing my head against the wall trying to figure out some of the new stuff that they had changed. And uh, yeah, well, here we are now. Uh, so let's, we're gonna block the road here for a minute. Knock over this sign. Roadblock. 
emergency loading services can't help ourselves all right let's grab these and these I don't know I'm just excited mostly for you guys to uh, be able to see like or, or be able to see be able to log the way it's supposed to be because this is like this is the way it's literally supposed to be done right not noodling around one thing you will notice on my machines always and because of the way I do my grapples um like watch see that grapple at the top watch the grapple how it disconnects a little bit from where it connects actually if you look down you know, it kind of does that saucer effect now unfortunately because of the way I do grapples to make them so they aren't noodles that's visible and there's nothing I can really do about that that's just the game engine um but I would rather see that and have a grapple that works, to be totally honest. Look at them all honking, they're all mad. Well, there's a lot of mad people over there. Clearly they are not reasonable, folks. Okay, let's grab that guy and shift her over. But I don't care, I got my new loader, so those guys can line up for two miles and I'm not gonna care. Mm-mm, not this guy. Grab from this pile here. Again, another thing is uh, on these grapples, because of the way I do have them built, you can crush the logs. Like if you squeeze them too hard, they start to get a little wobbly. Well, actually the whole grapple does now. Um, so if you're loading, just like real life, don't crush the logs. Just do nice, gentle, gentle movements. Don't squeeze up on them like you have to with the giant's grapples. That's, that's one thing everybody always takes the longest to get used to. Oh yeah, there we go. Actually, we gotta get a screenshot. Now I gotta make it a good screenshot. Oh, I wish I could get more light on that. That's alright. We'll just take that one. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna shut this guy off. Now, money shouldn't be a problem here now because, um,. We're gonna be just caking in the cash. I'm gonna let this traffic go, I guess. And then we're gonna bomb this buddy up the up the hill here, I guess. Uh, which way is quicker? Probably this way, hey? And we did hold up quite a bit of traffic. But look at that load! Look how long it took us to load that. Now, why wouldn't Giants, as a company, build grapples like that? Why? Why not? Why wouldn't you? And that question cannot be answered by me. I mean, grand, that was a lot of work. I spent, we, well, all of us as a team spent a crazy amount of time trying to get everything working. But once I got all the parts, like, Josh spent a long time doing his side, getting all the modeling and stuff. And then once he's done, he passes it on to me. And then I dig into the making everything work and the parts turn and twist and all that fun stuff. So, uh, what's the quickest way to go here? Let's stop. Uh, I'm never going to get used to this map. Whoops. Ah, continue to stop. Uh, right. Oh man, right or left? I'm gonna go right. Heck with it. Um, but yeah, once once he's done with it, I have to get everything working, and that's when the real work begins. It's just crazy. Lots of lots of configuring and coding and all that fun stuff, but. I had a few days where I was so frustrated by the hydraulic system because it wasn't working properly that I damn near quit. I was so mad. I was like, you know what? Do I really care about this? Then I'm like, yeah, I guess I do. I bring it back to it. <laughs> it was so frustrating. Just, uh, just wasn't working out there. Oh, there's a car on this road. My God. But uh, yeah, you know, we prevailed. Time and reading and lots of research and digging apart equipment and the system has changed so much compared to uh, the way it was before it changed a lot of the stuff it doesn't look different that's that's the funny part is that it uh, it doesn't look any different from what it was do I have to go straight through here oh yeah I do oops sorry car I need to go this way um, from a, a, <coughs> a player's perspective, like from somebody just playing the game, 
To you guys, it looks different, maybe acts a bit different. But from a modding perspective, the coding has been changed so aggressively that it's so many things that I was like, why did you even do this? Like, I'm sure they have their reasons, but there's some things that they changed that literally, to me, make absolutely no sense. It makes double the work for the exact same result. And I don't understand why for some of the stuff, but whatever, man. Not my game. We're just abusing it, so it's, it's, it's all good. But pretty funny regardless. And yes, clearly I have still not purchased a steering wheel because I'm still doing this to get up the hill, so that's good. Let's go out here because it's a little less sketchy looking. Well, not as much. You can see that front tire just ticker, 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 ticker. So how much is this load going to be worth? Now we're going to be pumping out loads like this like, like a madman now. So yeah, like I said, now that we got that first machine done, uh, the other one should be a lot easier to make because... Uh, we have all the hard stuff figured out. We have all the uh, the trickery is complete now. So we basically just apply that to new models and new stuff. It'll still be lots of work putting it all together. But at least now it's just work. You just, you know, hammering in the numbers, hitting the buttons. Um, leading up to this one, was it wasn't just, oh, yeah, just copy, paste the numbers and make it work. Like It was like you have to go in and spend three to four hours just on one section of the code to test it to see what's new to see what's different to trial and error what works and what doesn't and yeah um myself on that i probably spent triple the time it took to make uh grizzly mountain if not more <clears throat> i think it was uh well, i didn't keep track of my time but it was well four weeks at four i don't know man it was a lot it was probably at least a good 40 plus hours, like at least a work week amount of stuff that I put into that for sure. And uh, yeah, she's finally ticking, so it's good. Now the console thing, on the other hand, oh, I don't know what's, I don't know, man. Our system's so different from Giant System, the way we do grapples, the way we do lots of stuff. We're going to try for console, we're going to try to do it as best we can, but... If, if Giants comes back and says that we can't use that grapple system, there's no way in hell we're going to downgrade to their crappy noodle grapple system. Like, I'm just, I'm not putting my name on that because I don't like the system and I don't think it's good. So, if Giants allows our grapples and the way we have things and they let it go on console, I'm more than happy to keep making mods for console. Uh, Chad's going to try his best to see what he can do, but yeah, if they... They come after us saying that, oh, you can't have the grapples that way, because it is kind of a weird way to do it. It still looks all right, but um, if they won't allow that, then sorry, console, but you guys are SOL, because I can't downgrade these things to be crappier. Just can't do it. All right, here we go. How much do you think? 18, 16, 22, 260. Holy rich boys. That's a lot of money. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna drive back down because we need to get this sucker ready for the next video. Because the next video we're gonna be uh, doing the same thing. So this video might run a couple minutes extra here, just because I want to get this sucker all the way down the hill. But yeah, I don't know, man. Console's hard. Console's hard. And I know everybody wants it, and I know it's like probably at least seventy percent of the people want it on console for sure and I would love to get it there but I have a funny feeling that they're just going to deny all the the crazy strategies we use to make things work but I don't know we'll see man we'll see I'm really hoofing her down this hill hey we haven't rolled it yet so that's good playing with our shoddy steering wheel Yeah, oh. I might actually hook an Xbox controller up. I bet that would be pretty slim driving, hey? Or pretty smooth driving. I think I'm just so used to my uh, driving with my wheel. I know it looks erratic, but I have pretty good control. I'm just doing micro taps to make it steer. <laughs> that's from that's from hours and hours of playing Grand Theft Auto V with uh, people online doing like heists and car chases and stuff. That's where I think I got it from. 
Now we're just all over the road because there's no traffic, and if any traffic is coming, you better get out of the way because we're in a hurry. All right, do a loop de whoop here. And there's our site way over there, so let's just get right up in there. We'll prep ourselves up for the next episode. Yeah, so then uh, next we're going to try to do a truck and trailer, I think. Uh, I should really want to get a new truck and new trailer. Uh, processor, feller buncher, skitter, that kind of stuff. And then we'll do variants of the machines. With this new system, the way we have it, um, you know, you can use whatever... Other than processors, you can use whatever you want. You know, you can put a feller buncher head on this thing if you wanted to on that uh, 880. Or you could put a grapple head on the feller buncher, whatever you want. Like, we're trying to make them so universally interchangeable that it doesn't, uh, doesn't affect the player. So, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, so I'm going to leave this here. When we come back, we're going to keep cleaning up. we got a lot of wood to bring out of here, so it should be uh, more than entertaining. Um, so yeah, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, leave a comment, do not forget to subscribe, and if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. Alright guys, we'll catch you on the next one, see ya.